Yo, what it do? It's your boy Smoothie Man Bruce Wayne, aka Smooth Money Mayweather the Paper Chaser. Holla at your boy and welcome to the show. <laughs> feels great. Um, it really does. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming, like you said. Um, you know, and I've just shut my mouth for five years, and Coach Monty always says when, when preparation meets opportunity, um, and that's the situation we're in right now. So, you know, I've been saying for a long time, I don't want to look back um, and what I've gone through, um, but I wouldn't change the path for anything either. You know, I always say basketball and life, you know, relate to each other. And that's how, you know, I grew up is through basketball. So every situation that I've had, you know, I've just, you know, seen the bright side of it, kept my head down and kept working. And, you know, it finally pays off. All right, y'all, let's get right back into it. So my first video, I was campaigning, and I'm still campaigning. Chris Paul, MVP, most valuable player, bro. Phoenix Suns last night beat the Utah Jazz. Now, I understand. No Donovan Mitchell, but hey, man, you go out there, what you got? You know what I'm saying? You still got this record, so it is what it is. I, I, hey, it was like on a one-game losing streak at that time, and Phoenix Suns are on a three-game winning streak. Look, they they doing their thing, man. You know what I'm saying? They they got the number one record right now in all of basketball. No, uh, they they really tied with Utah Jazz. They got they both got the same record, but they're number one on let me pull it up. And they were doing their thing last night. You know what I'm saying? Devin Booker, 31 points. Um he only had two assists and three rebounds. But I'm saying Chris Paul, man, almost a triple double, twelve points, nine assists. Uh, three rebounds. You 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 see the floor general out there doing his thing. He dishing it. He 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 cooking and eating at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like he out there chefing out there, bro. Man, come on, man. I think we gotta we gotta recognize this, bro. We gotta recognize this, bro. Now I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. Denver Nuggets are. On the four game winning streak, you know what I'm saying? So they've been doing their thing without uh Murray. And Murray's a big key today, 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 um, today team. But you got the number one record. You're taking out teams, bro. You're taking out teams. I think he really deserve it. Each team Chris Paul has gone to, he has elevated them every single time. Every single time. He's elevated them. You know what I'm saying? I, it feels like I'm like a Suns fan right now, you know. But I'm still a Clipper fan. But they got the Thunder coming up next and Cleveland coming up next. That's going to be they, – they should be able to beat them two teams right there. And the Hawks, I believe they should beat them too. They got the Knicks coming up. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be on Sunday, May 7th. The Lakers, that's going to be even better. That's going to be That's going to be a real good game. That's gonna be a real good game. I'm sorry, the the Knicks and the Suns. That's a Friday game, and the Suns and the Lakers. That's a, a Sunday game. Then we turn around on Tuesday. They're gonna have the Warriors. Then we turn around on Thursday. They're gonna have the Blazers and back to back game with the Spurs. Seems like they're gonna be a possibility, I guess, of something going on with that. But man, come on, bro. These cats are doing their thing. Chris Paul's out there doing. He's out here doing his thing. I got this article um, that I, I'm going to just take a snippet from. Chris Paul ha has the Phoenix Suns in the playoffs for the first time in 11 years. Played Park Carr then with Steve Nash. You hear that? The Phoenix Suns hasn't been to the playoffs in 11 years. And the point guard that did it before him was Steve Nash. Yeah. Um, you know, it's been a special season with with, pro, with COVID protocols and, you know, everything we've went through as a group, you know, since the bubble. Um, but like I said, I, you know, I've, I have a lot of relationships throughout this league. 
you know, from the situations that I was in in the past. So a lot of trades, you know, a lot of coaching staffs, um, different training staff. So I'll never take that for granted either. You know, those relationships mean a lot to me. The mentorship that I got from, you know, a lot of my OGs, you know, I'll never forget. So, you know, I have love around the league, you know, league-wide. Um, this group here is special. You know, we're doing something um, that I obviously haven't done in the past. Um, and, and it's fun to be a part of it. Yeah, um, I love it. You know, I love them type of games. I love them type of atmospheres. Um, the fans brought it today. And, you know, not not only have I been waiting for, for five years, I think the organization of a whole has been 11, 12 years of, you know, waiting for this moment right here. Um, you know, so they, they deserve it. You know, they deserve to, to make that noise in there. Uh, and obviously a, a big matchup game versus the Clippers brought that out too. So, um, you know, it was fun. Come on, man. Come on. It also says that a lot of his teammates are like, call him like grandpa. Like, he would be that type of player that would be like, hey, man, get off my lawn. You know what I'm saying? But no, he's that type of player that's yelling at his teammates because he wants them to uh, do better so they can win, man. You want that type of floor general out there, bro. We, you said like, He's orchestrating stuff out there as another coach out there on the floor. Come on, man. We got to give it to Chris Paul, man. I'm telling you, I'm campaigning, bro. I'm campaigning. I'm kind of on the bad wagon for the Phoenix Suns, too, man. They out there balling, bro. They out there doing their thing. Devin Booker, man, he's been doing his thing. He's been lighting it up. Like, i become a fan of him. I've, I've really become a fan of him, man. Salute to him. Salute to the whole team. Hey, like I told you, it would be crazy if they will upset the world and make it to the finals and win the finals, man. Chris Paul getting his first ring. Hey, he could be, what if he becomes, what if, now I like this story. Listen to this story real quick. What if he becomes season uh, MVP and Devin Booker becomes finals MVP? I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, Chris Paul first time getting his ring, Devin Booker getting his ring. Hey, the franchise has, you know what I'm saying, been on an 11-year drought since Steve Nash has played. Man, that's a story. That's a story, bro. They've been out here beating all the juggernauts teams. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Let that sink in real quick. Let that sink in. Just think about it. Just think about it real quick. Just think about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, be crazy. I tell you, be crazy, bro. I know what y'all thinking, man. Just think about it. Let us sink in, man. Let us sink in. They out here doing their thing, man. They out there doing their thing. Like last night, man. Last night they shot fifty four percent, thirty three percent for three. You know what I'm saying? Seventy three percent for free throw. They free throw could have been a little bit better, man. You know what I'm saying? But they out rebounded them. And this sis, they out assist them. Blocks. They just played, man. They, they was out there balling, bro. Come on. You it wasn't like Utah won. They were getting destroyed at one point, though. First half it was 32. I'm sorry, 23 to 39. It was like the first half, they just lit them up. And it was 29-29. After the half, then when it came back, it was 20, 28, and 28, 25. You know, got beat by 21 points. Oof. Oof. Man. But like I said, bro, campaign for Chris Paul. He my MVP. He on my second team, all all team, NBA. On top of that, let me know what you think. Think I'm crazy? You know what I'm saying? You think I'm crazy? We put in the Utah, uh, not the Utah Jazz. I'm sorry, uh, the Phoenix Suns. Am I putting too much on them at right now? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it could happen, man. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Tell me down in the comments. You would not want to see this type of story. Tell me that. I want to know what I'm saying. I want to know. Let me know. 
I want to know this, please. That's Chris Paul. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, he. I've been watching him for a really long time, and you know, me and my dad used to always talk about it. We'd be like, man, you, you notice how he switches it up between the first half and the second half? Um, and now playing with them, you know, you, you notice the, the gear flip of, you know, getting everybody involved. And not saying he doesn't do that in the second half, but, you know, he, he's laser sharp locked in. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy to learn from him every day. You know, I think everybody on this team heard you guys laughing about his age. Um, you know, we, we give him a hard time all the time, but, you know, that's a lot of knowledge he has. And, you know, he he, he shares it with all of us and we all listen. Um, honestly, the fans, um, I mean, you've seen the murals on the walls. Well, they're not there anymore, but they used to be through here of um, Western Conference Finals when, you know, they filled the streets. Um, and, you know, the love has been there since since I've been here from the beginning, but, you know, anybody that used to play for the Suns in the past would come through and be like, there's a whole different level to it, you know, believe me. You know, so I'm looking forward to that. You know, I'm looking forward, you know, packing the place out. Hopefully we get to that point um, and the atmosphere and the energy and, the, you know, the vibe around the whole city, you know, to be up 